What up, 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 y'all? What's up with it? What's up with it? Hey, what's up, Angelic? Annika, Angelic Annika, she on here. Hello, can y'all hear me? Give me a thumbs up if y'all can hear me. Comment in the live chat if you can hear me. I appreciate y'all being here. I appreciate y'all joining the new live. Uh, yeah, as y'all can see, y'all see what it is. What's going on here? It is. When you're divinely guided, when you're a chosen one, this is what happens. So if you guys are just joining this live, uh, you know, we just going to clear the air and clear the energy. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know what's going on with it. You guys, it's just hilarious. It is hilarious. Um, it's hilarious how the energy will try it. So I'm claiming that this is my sovereign celestial space and the energy to be in this space, the frequency, the vibration to even come close to this parameter is the frequency of love, joy, happiness, and well-being. Okay. That's the energy I'm setting for the space enthusiastic, seeking knowledge for positive, productive means, right? For all involved, for the highest good of all, to evolve your soul, okay? So all that energy we bring into light and we're cleansing that energy, we're telling it to go back to where you gotta go. This is not the space. The space is for those who are ready, willing, open, and ready to learn. Um, adjusting the lives is that um, there was an energy, I'm not saying this any of y'all, but I'm just saying there was an energy in there that was trying to penetrate. No hate can penetrate, baby, because the vibration is set too high. It's too high. I set too high of a standard to be lowered back down. Give me a thumbs up if you set too high of a standard to be lowered back down. Okay, so you've, been, you've evolved yourself from these spaces and these places, okay? You don't have to go back down. You just have to stay up. And eventually, people will start meeting you where you at, <laughs> okay? Or they won't, and that's fine. Thank you so much. Much Monet, I appreciate the energy. It's kind of a little dark in here, um, but that's okay. That's okay. Yes. It's your girl, Killer K, aka K Love and the Bill and A. Tell me how you feeling. Also known as your celestial empress. Okay, so we're in the building, y'all. I didn't even have my tea before. I, I'm getting a call. It says scam likely. So you see the energy, you see what's going on in this mud, you see, you see it and you feel it. All right. So yes, thank y'all for giving me a thumbs up. Thank y'all for being in the building. Thank you for showing up for yourself first and foremost. Today's conversation. Oh, by the way, if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button now. Okay. Come on. I, I heard you come on in here. Come on now. Come through the door. But hit that subscribe on the way in. It is free 99. Okay. That is the one button that's 99 on here. Okay. You don't have to pay anything to hit the subscribe button or the post notification bell. If you're not new, welcome back, Chai. Thank you for coming, Celestial family. I got some announcements. I'm going to be opening up my uh, abilities and services to other Zodiacs as well. So in the new year, I'll be interested in what I do. Please share the video and the information with them. I'll be opening that up. And my services on my website are going to change. They're undergoing some changes right now. So in the new year, I will definitely release that. Uh, but in the meantime, if you'd like to book a private, check the description. Oh, I don't even have a description box below. The website is kloverings.com. And the reason being that I don't have a description box below at the moment is because it was just like, get up on here and do what you got to do. Like, don't even not wanting me to express what I'm going to say. And so that's why it's very important. Monet says she got her note gal. She feel like she in class. That's exactly the vibe. This is not a game. Getting it is not a game. It may look easy to other people. It may look crazy to other people. But it's not a game. Okay, hear me when I say that. We're not playing a game. This is for keeps right here. This is part of the spirit. Get a little wabras. Give me a thumbs up, Libras, if you know how to maintain your balance. Okay, maintain your balance when shit gets a little crazy because it will try to get a little crazy. Um, I'm also getting too. Spirit is not playing. Like it's a sweep through of energy. Yes, thank you. Spirit is not playing. Spirit is not playing. What's up? What's up? Libra show in the building. Um, so basically, to be a chosen one, how you have to move. So how do you know that you're a chosen one? That's the first and first, foremost. How do you know that you're being divinely guided? To be divinely guided truly is to be the black sheep or to be the outcast. 
right? So the example I was using earlier in the other live is that, you know, say, for example, you're the only one in your family who has the courage to uh, take on a new venture that nobody's done, right? Let's say everybody in your family has not even graduated high school and you have the courage to say, I want to go to college or I want to do this. I want to be an entrepreneur or I want to be a business owner, whatever the case may be. That's how you know you're the chosen one because you have the courage to say that you want to do something that has never been done in your immediate surrounding vicinity, in your environment. You're basically saying, I want to transmute and evolve this environment. I don't want to be like everybody that didn't go to, but I want to express my difference. Yes, angelic. Okay, so you know, he was thinking this this morning. So you was already on point. You was already in the wave. So you already where you need to be. And that's exactly how it works. You you, you get me? So um, so let's say that that's your, that's your mission. That's your goal. You could even also say, um, you could even also say like, uh, you know, okay, I want to be the person in the community that, um, you know, opens up a rec center. I, I want to be there for the youth. I want to. I want to be a counselor. I want to be some sort of uh, therapist or whatever the case may be. You get me? The fact that maybe you don't have a therapist, you didn't have a counselor growing up, you didn't have a rec center to go to to inspire this thought within you. So clearly, it inspired by something deeper than that said otherwise. The environment said a rec center, a therapist, we don't even have that resource in our immediate vicinity. What makes you think that you can go outside of that environment and gather a resource such as that and bring it back in the environment? What makes you think that there was nothing in your environment to begin with to make you think that? But there was. But there was because the chosen one does not think there isn't this, so I can't do that. The chosen one says there's a lack of resource in my community. I'm going to be the one to gather the guided individual, okay? I was thinking about being a therapist and going to college for a degree in psychology this morning, the synchronicity. So there you go. And the fact that you came on the live and the live was cutting in and out hella times, but you still got your message. So that's what I'm saying. When it comes to those different energy elevating, because all they can do is try to cause delays. But when you understand that there is, this is fated, this is destined, as a chosen one, your life was laid before you. You made a promise and a commitment to God. You signed a soul contract with Source saying that you would incarnate into this physical this dimension in the ninth sector of the universe to do this mission and play your part and play your role. That is it. That is it. It is absolute. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. And who cares what anybody else of a lesser degree of vibration under the hierarchy of the Most High has to say? Because until you reach that source level, you can't tell me nothing. If you are lower vibrational energy, you can't tell me nothing. All you can do is reflect to me how I can still keep improving, how I can still keep growing and evolving past, like, period. Damn. Yeah, I was just cooking. And when you said something about my food fell, trying to set us up. Exactly. But it's okay because that's, they're, they're playing their role too. As a chosen one, you decided to be a, like you were called. It was a calling on your life. But again, when a phone rings, in order to, to answer the call, you have to pick up the phone and answer it. So not only was it something that you're destined to do, but you also chose it. You agreed to it. You signed the soul contract. And that means that you're divinely protected so long as you fulfill your divine mission. So when people are telling you, when you have that crazy idea that you're going to do this, you're going to be the first in your family to be a billionaire or a millionaire, the first to do this or that, or you're going to change an environment that has been perpetuating toxicity or generational curses or whatever. When you decide that that's what you're going to do, people are going to tell you you're crazy. They're going to be like, hell no, you can't do that shit. Ain't nobody in this, ain't nobody ever got out alive. Ain't nobody, all kind of shit. They're going to tell you all kind of shit. Okay. But again, who do you answer to? Do you answer to them or do you answer to the most high? You're divinely guided. So who are you answering to? Hmm? Right. And there's ways that you have to move. And so seeing what's in front of your eyes sometimes can be deceiving. When you're a chosen one, there are angels and angelic helpers that are fighting battles around you that you don't even see, that you're not even necessarily fully aware of when you're divinely guided.
you have agreed that this is a mission that you're going to take on and you're provided just like in the matrix with Neo and Trinity and all them, like get on your Morpheus shit, understand that you can bend this reality to whatever the fuck you need it to be because you're a chosen one. So whatever you will, will happen because you're using your willpower, you're expressing your authority to do such. And that's just how it is. Like, that's just what it is. Angelic said, not me getting deja vu. I answer to the most high. I answer to the most high. Exactly. Okay. So any other little pesty energies I can do is just be a fucking bug in your way. Just clap that motherfucker. Like, you feel me? Like, that's it. Um, now, when it comes to moving, right, it's a certain way that you have to move when you're being divinely guided. Sometimes you can't tell everybody what your moves are. Because even though you're protected under the guidance, you can make it a little bit harder for yourself by letting everybody know what you got going on or what God told you to do or what God told, how, told you how to move in your own little unit. Hey, yeah, it's funny how in the new Matrix movie, Neo got caught back up in the Matrix. Yeah. See, we're here to elevate. We're here to break these generational curses. Now, when you... And being divinely guided and being the black sheep of the family, when you start to really put those terms together and understand what that is saying, the black sheep of the family. If I was in a dark world, right? Like, truly hear me. If I was in a dark world, I saw a being of light, but all I'm used to is dark. And I, and I think that I am the light, I'm going to call that being a dark being, the black sheep. Huh, baby, I'm not the, I'm the, look, the black sheep, yeah, I'm different, but truly, uh, I am the, the light sheep, you feel me? <laughs> I am of the light, like, don't, the black sheep, I get what you're saying, yes, you're trying to call out the difference, but you're calling it out in a, you're this, like trying to tease you. I am the light, baby. You're, you've been the one and oh, you, what you have neglected for you to understand that you're in darkness. And that is why you have to move a certain way. Because although you are of light, people are going to treat you like you're the, the, the dark one. They're going to treat you like you're the one that they got to fear. You're the one that out here creating solutions. to, And it's fucked up. But when you're living in a dark world, you get me? I'm also getting when you're divinely guided, especially when you're on your path, people are so attracted to your energy. They're so attracted to your energy. Why? Because they want to get you hooked in. They want to feed, they want to use your light to feed their desires. They want to use your gifts, your star-like abilities, your qualities, your, your powers. Let's just keep it real. They want to use your powers to feed their agenda. So when you're in the, in the manifesting energy, when you're garnishing and garnering your energy and cultivating your energy to cum accumulate it, to then produce something on the physical or material level, because that's really what it is. Like, I'm not, I don't, I don't value the things I adorn myself with. Why would I do that? Why not value the power that it took for me to produce the thing that I adorn myself with? Why not value that? And that's what I'm saying. So when you're in the manifesting energy, be aware of people who are like, you know, got to have a piece of your time, want to want to throw their bullshit on you, want to put their problems, want to project their negativity onto you. Why? Why are you wanting to put your negativity onto me? If not to try to suck me back into, they want to suck you back into the matrix. Okay, Angelic, you understand what I'm saying? They want to suck you back into the matrix They of a reality. When the reality is you're a chosen one. You serve the most high. You are a reflection of divine light and divine love and immaculate grace, ultimate love, agape love. That's why uh, motherfuckers don't know how to love you correctly or deal with your energy correctly because they're not even used to the agape love. They've gotten so far from the agape love. They themselves have chosen to go far from the agape love. Yeah. And when you understand being a chosen one also demonstrates royalty, like my consciousness, yeah, 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 uh-huh, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yep, mm-hmm. Octarian, Pleiadian consciousness. I have streams of consciousness flowing through me. I have ancestors, okay? You hear me? 
Yeah. So when it comes to that, you are royalty. You being here is royalty. You you incarnating here, you, you stepping into your royal energy. Okay. So you can direct energy as a chosen one. You can tell energy where to go and where to space. If you ain't at the level, you got to dip up out of here. Like you got to go. You got to skedaddle. Like, right? And that's why when I said that, the energy kind of settled down. You too have that same royalty. You too who are watching because I claim the space that if you ain't of royalty, you ain't in this room watching right now. You're not in this space right now watching. You haven't been watching from start to finish. You're not royalty. That's okay. <laughs> when the most high called and said, do you want to do this mission? Well, do you want to volunteer and come into this incarnation to assist the collective, the collective consciousness to raise the vibration, to evolve on a collective conscious level? Do you want to be the front runner? A lot of motherfuckers scooted all the way to the back because that was the call right there. That was the call. And you know how I know that was the call? Because if you're here right now, during this time and this space and this place, and you understand what I'm saying, you are, you are ingesting it. It is in manifestation. You have planted that seed in fertile soil. You are actively growing and watering that seed. Then that's why you're here listening. Yeah. Yes. To destroy the old version because we don't need that version anymore. Now we are the anchors and pillars of light on this planet. We are the earth star being where we came from. You give me some of you guys are 12th dimensional beings. Like <laughs> some of you guys have guides that are 11th and 12th dimensional beings which means that you have to maintain either a fifth, sixth, or seventh. Then when we come out of dimensions and we go into trimensional energy, what is a trimension? Coming out of the past, present, and the future, because now it's just a real. Now it's almost like when you look at the, remember back in the day when you used to take pictures on the Kodak camera and they give you the film? It's like you looking at the film like that. That's the real. That's the past, present, future mixed in. That's the timeline of this, this, and that, and that, and that all mixed in. Because now you're in a trimensional energy. You don't have to look at it from a die. A die is two. This or that. Like past, present, I know how to mix that shit. I know how to remix it and whip it. You feel me? Now I know how to flip it. You feel me? Flip it and reverse it. You get me? So, uh, and that goes back into reprogramming your mind as well as a chosen one. You can go back in time. So I want y'all to watch the movie, The Butterfly Effect. You can go back in time and change the outcome. Why? Because you are solidly grounded in your present moment. You are solidly stable in your present moment, which means that you can eradicate the time. energy right you're transmuting it because we are like beings you know what's up Annika exactly yes you're 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 infiltrating right now you're infiltrating a broken system to show people that there is light that if you came outside of this dark cave you would see the sun is actually shining it, you in the dark for no reason you're choosing to be in the dark you don't have to be in the dark but that's what it is to be a divinely guided chosen one you are the one that shows them. It's not that you learn from nobody else or you had a role model or you have somebody to look up to. You have people that are across your path, that will intersect your path and reflect a moment, reflect that divine spark within you for that moment. But as a chosen one, you are the front runner. Like I said, when the call came in upstairs and the most high said, who want to go first? Motherfucker scoop to the back, bro. You stepped up to the front. You're cut from a different cloth. I'm also getting Mel, the order, Melchizedek, the Melchizedek order. Some of you guys have that in your consciousness too or in your DNA, in your ancestry. Some of you guys have ancestors that are Knights nice Templars who understand the sacred mission, who understand that you got to protect and serve. It's not just about living. It's you got to protect and serve the royal bloodline. You get me? Because this ain't just... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, 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 mm hmm yeah. You have to protect and serve. It's beyond secret societies and all that. It's, it's a, it's a, like how I was saying, like, if you are a firefighter or if you're called to be a firefighter or you have firefighters in your family, they're, they're on that same Knights Templar energy. They bloodline is protecting and serving the royal. Like, they know that. You get me? They know they got to protect and serve. They're happy to do that. 
So again, everybody has a mission, a passion, and a purpose. It all needs to be aligned, your mission, your, pa your passion, and your purpose. What is your mission? What are you passionate about? How does that feed your purpose? Always. As a divinely guided one, you can't, you can't be mixing with everybody's energies. Like I said, your royalty. You have to demonstrate your status to people energetically. You can't always uh, have an equal give and receive with people. You have to demonstrate your status. You can't just be letting people touch on you, <laughs> touch your energy, or have access to you. They can't always call you and you answer because you're divine. You're divinely guided. Your purpose, passion, and mission is aligned so you understand that every interaction you have is either serving the purpose, passion, and mission, or it's not. And you have to move accordingly. What's up, Ms. Shadiqua? What's up, what's up, what's up? Cooking is magic. Put that energy into that food. Eat it up. Yes, eat it up. Being that you're in the manifest energy, angelic, you, you want to manifest because you're feeling the energy. It's calling you to, to, to bring that manifestation. Now you want to add your, you get me. Right. And that's what it should do. It should inspire the creator within you to create. Keep creating creator. But understand that when you're royalty, you demonstrate it. No, you can't get no, no, no free nothing from me. You can't get a free fat. None of that. If I choose to to want to serve you in a charitable way, I can. But when it comes to free, that's that that's that poverty mindset. Free. I need to get something for free. What do you mean you need to get something for free? It costs to be the boss. It everything it cost it costs me. Uh, friends, family, a normal life, all that to be exactly where I am right now and to continue forward in that path is what it cost me. So nothing in life is free. Like that free concept is also part of a poverty consciousness or a scarcity consciousness because it's saying that you don't have enough energy to generate something. I got enough energy to generate whatever I need in my reality. I have that empress energy, baby. I got enough to generate whatever I need. As a chosen one, you have to understand you have enough to generate what you need. You're not in lack. You don't need nothing for free. Because when you answer that call, you pay the price. That's why motherfuckers scoot it to the back. And that's why I'm saying this for y'all, that you are the front runner. You didn't. You sacrificed having a role model to show you how to do the shit. Because you're the role model that's going to show these motherfuckers how to do it. You sacrificed having uh, the normal day-to-day -day whatever routine to be able to be an entrepreneur and set your own hours. You sacrificed all these things. Like, that's what you got to understand. You sacrificed all these things. So it's just like, that's what you paid to do what you're doing. And honestly, it would be, it would much rather be better to, it would be much rather better to sacrifice that than to be out here thinking that you're getting everything you need. But really the true sacrifice is you. These motherfuckers are the sacrifice. Do you understand that as a chosen one? If they don't get with it, they are the sacrifice. You get me? Because they went through all that for what? So you got to understand how you got to move around energy. You can't be over here moving like you a regular schmeg. You're not a regular. You're not an average Joe ass motherfucker. You're not a regular schmeg. You are a divine chosen one. You, you exude your status by declining to keep the company of lower vibrational energies. Because then what does that mean? Does that mean that they're royal or does that mean that you are a peasant? <laughs> you got to understand these peasants is out here. They trying it. And I'm, when I say even lower your vibration, I mean even get mad at them or even go back and forth on their level. Like how motherfuckers were trying to fuck with the live earlier. If I would have got mad and said, fuck this shit, it's like now I'm, I'm a peasant. When you are royal in your bloodline and your consciousness, your conscious royalty, supreme knowing and knowledge, when you're royal in that energy, you don't stoop to their level. You have boundaries, healthy boundaries. You understand that not everybody's going to be happy. You say you're about to elevate yourself and not everybody's going to want to elevate with you. And some people are going to try to keep you from elevating because they don't want to be in the dark alone, but they also don't want to go to the light. So you give me, they want you to stay, you give me. So it's like, you you got a lot of responsibility, not just for you, but the, the energy that you're creating around you. You have a lot, you are you are accountable for the for the company you keep. The, the people that you keep around, you're accountable for that. Because if you're a chosen one, you know who you are. You've known all your life. That's why you felt like the black sheep. You've known it all your life. So it's kind of like, okay, if I know that I'm a chosen one, Am I going to keep going around motherfuckers that I know ain't getting their shit together? 
don't have the right mindset. They're still in the poverty mindset. They still want a free T-shirt, a, a free uh, facial, a free book, a free this for me. They don't want to pay me. They don't see that I'm royalty. They can't, right? Okay, well, shit. Because if you hang around them, then you're reflecting that you resonate on that level. And if you are a divine chosen one, now's the time to understand that you resonate higher than. You are more than the sum of your parts. You are more than the company around you. You are more than the value wise. Understand that. Everything I try to teach and they're going to see it in time. Tell bitches, get their shit, get their sticks. I'm done leading the blind, period. Everything I teach them, they're going to see it in time. Because right now we're teaching, we're demonstrating by being the example, we're being the, the change we want to see. You wanted to have a role model and you didn't. Well, guess what? Now you are the role model. That's the, that's the point of a chosen one, is that you didn't stop at, I didn't have this, because that's poverty mindset. You rose above and became what you perceived to not have, which demonstrates that you are royalty, you are a chosen one. That's why that poverty mindset shit, you a peasant then. If you want to believe you don't have enough, you're a peasant. Like... This universe is too motherfucking big. This world is too motherfucking expansive. The universe is growing all the time, perpetually. It is growing. So what you mean you don't have enough? If things are growing, the plants are growing. The plants in the soil right now, the trees that have been planted, they're still growing. If they're still in the deeply rooted, they're still growing. So what do you mean you don't have enough? If this is a whole planet of growth, vegetation, what do you mean you don't have enough? That's bullshit. You're in a poverty mindset. You're not royalty because you're choosing not to answer the call. Because when God said, do you have what it takes to do this shit? You was like, yeah, I sure do. That's why I wasn't afraid to pick up the phone. And when the motherfuckers in the back backed up, that was them saying, I don't think I have what it takes. So you still need to do the work to understand that you do have what it takes. But that's on you. As for me and mine, we're going to serve the most high by being earth beams, lights on this planet, demonstrations of how you do this shit. This is how you do it. Na, 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 na. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. We just got to show them how it's done. All right? Yeah. Yeah. And they say, I need to see that. This is why Nikki is the queen of rap and calls herself that. Okay. You hear me? Bars for every scenario, every occasion. I'm going to sip my tea on that. A current update with energy, because this was just a reminder. We ain't even really got started yet. I'm going to pull some cards for each sign here, too. But uh, the real energy is that right now, uh, yeah, it'd be spiritual battles going on. It'd be motherfuckers trying to block the truth from being spoken. It'd be motherfuckers that be trying to put their they energy on you, like you're supposed to do something for them. Like they entitled to your healing abilities or your energy. Like you don't have a choice about where you create and where you invest energy. Hello. Because that's what we're doing. You're investing the energy. When you spend time with low vibrational people, you invest energy in low vibrational bullshit. When you spend time elevating, you invest in elevation. When you spend time doing self-work, you, you invest in self-healing, right? And that's the difference. That's what, 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 uh, Makes the shows the, the men from the boys and the women from the girls, right? Yes, like you said, when they're pulling your energy back, going into Herman mode, that's exactly the energy you should be doing. It's cultivating your own energy. Why? Because you're accumulating and curating it to produce something tangible because that is your value. The fact that you can do it that way. There's motherfuckers that can't, right? Okay. They're afraid of the light. Exactly. They're afraid of the light. They're afraid to own up to that energy. So what's happening now is, yeah, people going to try it. They're going to try to engage you in low vibrational energy. You have to know when it's serving you and when it's not. And you have to know when, if it comes down to a healing level, if the universe is trying to show you where you need to heal. But again, when you're going within self, you don't, you don't have to do all that because the universe is just channeling it directly through you. You don't need to look for a reflection to show you anything, right? If there's one there, then okay, cool. But when you're doing the self-work, you don't have to look for somebody to show you that you've done it. You're tapping into self to see that. You're going within the waters of yourself. You're looking into your internal mirror. Hello, somebody. I'm getting for some of you too. It's, it's important to understand that um, 
certain people are just gonna serve you. Like the the, the toxic energy, they uh, it, it, that that's why you have to move how you have to move and operate. Your Highness, Your Honor, they know that you're you're of royalty, of royal bloodline, consciously, physically, metaphysically. They know that, but see, they don't have enough generated light to be able to. Right? If you're royalty, they may want to give you an offering. This is how you get your enemies, right? This is how God will use your enemies as footstools. God will use these these energies to serve you. you know where to go when you don't want to fuck with them. Like you can go kick rocks. I don't give a fuck. And they're going to be mad, yeah. But you're reclaiming your light. You're saying, I'm not going to have a face off with you. I'm shining over here, bitch. If you want to be offerings, they may want to do kind deeds for you, but it's attached to negative energy. It's attached to their own expectations of what they think is going to happen if they do this. Well, if I give the queen, my royal empress, my celestial empress again, then she's... Uh, uh, I feel like she's entitled to talk to me or do that. No, the fuck I'm not. To get it, get it, keep it pushing. Give the offering to keep it pushing. I'm also getting collective. There's people in your around you. They're almost like trying to be in your aura who are serving their karma. And they know that you were the bringer of the karma. I'm talking to my Justice Leagues up in your Libra. Stand the fuck up if you got Libra in your chart somewhere. Justice League. They mad because you didn't brought you. They, they didn't think that they didn't want the smoke, but you brought the smoke. You brought the smoke. When somebody provokes you, it's because they want that divine energy. Yes. Yes. They want that divine energy. And what I, what I mean when I say, uh, what I bring, uh, they want to help you all of a sudden. They want to do something kind for you. Or they want to, sometimes the most high will use them to do that for that moment because maybe you need to get somewhere. It's using your enemy as a divine guided being and a chosen one. A motherfucker could offer me a cup of poison, right? Motherfucking now, and make it look like it was a cup of tea. And they could have rat poison in that shit. And as a divinely guided chosen one, I trust so highly in my own mission and in the most high that I'll drink that motherfucker knowing damn well it got the poison in it. I'll drink it. Or maybe I don't know. Maybe I, I don't know that it has the poison. But because I am here for a divine purpose and mission, the poison did absolutely nothing to me. It didn't kill me. And that's what I'm saying. That's how you know when you're a chosen one. When you can go into situations and scenarios and all odds are stacked against you. Nothing is set up in your favor. Everything is set to be against you. But you still make it through that motherfucker. That's how you know you're a chosen one. Period. You got you to gotta experience it to know what I'm talking about. You got to understand that somebody could give you the gift of darkness and you transmit that dark into motherfucking light and you get their blessing from it. Because had they done the inner work, your poison, had you come up with the cure for your own poison, you would be healed. But because you didn't come up with the cure for what was poisoning you and you tried to serve me poison and I healed myself, now I'm healed. And now you still sick. And now you're looking for a healer. How ironic is that? How ironic is that? Hmm. That's how God will do it. That's how God will do it. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't have no scared mindset. I don't have no scarcity mindset. I can walk into any and walk with my head held up high because I know who I am. And for you to hate me, it's because you ain't me. You hate me because you ain't royalty, because you didn't have the courage to step up and do the job. You hate me because somebody, you put the pressure to fuck around and get the job done. But when the pressure get on you, you crack. That's why you hate me. And that's why I don't got to be mad because that's a you thing. That's not a me thing. That's not a we thing. They be trying to make it a we thing. Like we mad. Nah, bitch. I'm not mad about a motherfucking thing. I'm too, I'm obsessed. <laughs> There's no more stress than when you manifest the blessings. Like... <laughs> So how you get me? So it's just like, that's what it is. Keep my head up and shine. Yeah, shine on them. Shine on them. I want y'all to uh, look at the movie, The Butterfly Effect. Spirit's telling me it's been put on my spirit. The Butterfly Effect about changing. Take what you need to take from it because the movie is just a movie within itself. It has its own agenda and it, its own plot and storyline. But if you took the part that, oh, this happened and boom, okay, cool, that's what you needed from it. But the butterfly effect, I'm actually about to probably go watch this shit myself. 
because um, you can change your past. You can by by accepting what happened in the present moment and rewriting the script about what happened in the past. Maybe in the past, or you felt mad that motherfucker at you for being royalty. Now you know better. Now you know better. You you have the courage to answer the call. All right. That's what I'm getting. Like, spirit is in the lion's den and not get eaten up. You can fight a, 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 a giant. What's the, what's the one? David and Goliath. You fight a giant and fucking win. Y'all need to listen to Ganja Burn, okay? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, when you're a chosen one, you know. Yeah, they might to to d diminish or destroy that. <laughs> it's greater than... <laughs> no matter what it looked like. So yeah, that's the message I got for y'all today. I'm not going to keep y'all too long. I hope that y'all are sitting nice and understanding what I'm saying now. I hope that you were internally documenting it. Hope that my, my scribes out there were scribing it. Scribing it, okay? Hope that the Akashic, the ones that know how to visit the Akashic records, my Akashic scribes, I hope y'all out here writing one for the universe, for everybody, okay? Because this is going down in history. <laughs> what, the reason why you're here is a mission going down in history. Evolution of even the most uh, dense, the dense re realities. Sector we're on sector nine. This is a dense sector and we're elevating it. So know that you are, you are a holy, sacred vessel being used for a divine purpose, mission, serving the most high. And that's all there is to it. Anything else is a distraction. Anything else anybody else trying to holler at you or say to you or make you feel otherwise about the mission you have to serve, they're a distraction. They're in the dark. Clearly, they don't see who the fuck you are. Or maybe they do, but they don't want to see you. They, you get me? It is what it is. But if you ain't on that wave, uh, yeah, that's that's all. That's it. And that's all, folks. You get me? You choose what, ele what state of elevation you want to be in. You choose if you're in heaven or hell based off of energy. It's a mindset, period. So that's what I want to leave y'all with. If you guys are new, Aisha said, I'm on a mission. Angelica said, oh, that was funny. A light just beamed down on me. Angelica said, uh, I received a message from this live. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you know who you are. And you're going to keep knowing who you are despite motherfuckers knowing or not knowing. Elevate them. Them frequencies raised. Yeah, they peeking out the window, but they can never win. Yeah, they just want to They want to sit by the light. They just want to get as close as they can to the fire because they out there in the cold. You feel me? It's cold out there. It's warm where you at. You're exuding the warmth and the energy. Of course, they want to get close to it. But in order to do that, they have to step their cookies up. Step your cookies up for they crumble. These motherfuckers, they cookies is crumbling. They got dust particles in their hand. Feel me? Like, <laughs> you're very welcome, Monet. If you guys are new, definitely subscribe to the channel if you was vibing with this video. If you share this with who needs to see it, who you understand to be a chosen one, or the people in your group. It could be a, a watch party for, you know, whoever. Or maybe it's just us. This is the only people y'all got to come to, the only group section or area you got to come, whatever. That's cool. That's fine. It, this, this space is going to be here. This sovereign celestial empire is going to be here, baby. Okay? So you could just come on when you need to. Come on in. Okay? But I appreciate y'all. If any of you guys want to reach out, book a personal, check the description box. Oh, wait. The description. Yeah, my bad, y'all. Just here. Hit me up on the website. It's in the, it's in the chat. It's in the live uh, spirit is being very selective about who I, I can be in, indulged with and engaged with at this time. So that's what that's about as well. Not everybody can hop on the wave with me. Not everybody can be on the same energy. So there, there's the website right there. So anyways, I appreciate you watching. Thank you for showing up for yourself first and foremost. Thank you for all the love, shares, comments, likes, subscribes, bookings, and all the good energy. Oh yeah, I'm about to do all signs. Hold up now. Somebody said, wait a minute. She was going to do all signs. Let's see what's going on with all signs. And they want me to pull some cards from my Oracle deck too. We're not even done yet. I'm over here trying to exit. Yeah, there's people here that's trying to cause distractions. This is the distraction card. They're trying to get in the way of you seeing the beauty or the light. Okay. Or these are people who are distracted themselves. Yeah, these are people that came. They're trying to shine under your spotlight. You see how the sun is right here? But it's a motherfucker in the shadows over here. If you really pay attention, it's a motherfucker in the shadows. You can see right there. 
Yeah, Taurus here. What's up, Taurus? Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's some people that you need to make a decision about in your life. Because I feel like, like these people come deep emotions and all this stuff. And you're on the right path right now is what I'm getting. But it's motherfuckers that want to approach you. What's up, Miss Tootie? It's, it's motherfuckers that want to approach you. And they on that dark energy. You got to pay attention to who these people are. It could be friends, family. It could be motherfuckers you didn't expect. You get me? Like on some predator energy. You need to pay attention to the details. All right? So what is what is what is the Oracle deck want us to know before we get into all signs? What is the Oracle deck want us to know? 3D shut the bottom of the deck. Okay, I can wage war, come in peace like Gandhi. Sometimes you gotta mix it up. You gotta remix it and do a little bit of both on your Libra shit. We yeah, we got people hiding under your spotlight. They they want healing. That that's all it is. Spirit just wants you to know that you're shining. You're the, you're the mountain. You're the sun that's shining on the mountain. But it's motherfuckers all up in the background. Like you can't really see it. But it's a motherfucker like sitting right here. It's a motherfucker right there. Sitting in the dark, sitting in their own delusions, sitting in their own bullshit, basically sitting in their shit. They they emotional, okay? They got all this emotion, all this these feelings. It's gray and cloudy, like it ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Darkness when she's away. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away. Yeah, that's how these motherfuckers feeling. Ain't no sun. Cloudy. The sun over there and I'm over here, head ass. They want to use us to heal. You hear me? You know. Yeah. But they got to step their cookies up. This is the advanced technology card. This is the new generation. We doing it differently. You're not finna use me to get show up. Yeah. Motherfuckers want to do it the same way they've been doing it. They want to be on some karmic cycles with it. Nope. You got to step your cookies up. Because it's coming to a point where now, you can't even be in my energy without having an elevated frequency. You cannot have none of that bullshit going on. You got to fix that. Check that at the door if you want to come around. Motherfuckers like, nah, let's do it the old way we used to, where I used to just use up all your energy and suck you dry, and then you would go back and take a break, and I would do it all over again. Let's just do it like that. Let's do it like old times. You're like, uh-uh, bitch. 2022, who? Bitch. 2022, new bitch who this, period, okay? Anyways, with that being said, let's wake the deck up. With that being said, y'all, y'all don't hear me. 2022, new click, who this? 2022, new bitch, who this? <laughs> you feel me? New rules, new policies, who this? <laughs> you can't reach me, who this? Like, let's see, let's see what's going on here. Let's get this all signed before we get out of here, girl. I just been out here talking. I've been out here talking, smoking, joking. What's going on with my Aries? You have forward movement. Uh, you have communication coming in areas. You're also manifesting something because it looks like you're calling in some energy from the higher forces or the higher universe. But I'm getting like it starts from, from within. In order, so I'm getting like you're going fast because things and you elevate it past so quick. Like a slingshot. Eight of wands for Aries. What's going on, my Taurus, please? Taurus, we have judgment. You're calling judgment. You're making a decision on something. It could be around your money because we do have the ace of the pinnacle right here. Somebody could offer you a new opportunity when it comes to finances, possibly. It may be something that you're very passionate about or it aligns with your passions. You may want to, I'm also dealing with the judgment card here. It's like you, you go into the altar or you, you may have an altar that you're setting up. You need to set up an altar, Taurus, is what I heard. Yeah, you need to set up an altar, a money altar or an abundance altar or something like that. Okay, you could also be done with a Libra because justice came out. You may need a little bit more balance here, Taurus, but I feel like you're making a judgment. What's going on here with my Geminis? Gemini, you're dealing with some emotions. You could, I, I'm getting like you're just dealing with your emotions. What's going on with my Cancers? What did you do for my Cancers? Five of Wands, Cancers. 
So I'm getting like hand out of my face, Brenda. Like you might have to let somebody know, like, look, take one more step. I feel like you have a method to your madness, Cancer. There's a strategy. Letting them know with this finger up. Like, do it one more motherfucking time. We don't have a problem. Yeah. It's a lot of outside energy, though, Cancer, because somebody over here looking at what you got going on right there, and you can't even see this motherfucker doing that because you're telling this motherfucker the boundaries. Meanwhile, this motherfucker is really not all of it. Like, it's just all kind of shit. So people around you could be upset. There could be some people trying to instigate in your energy right now, Cancer. What's going on with my Leos at this time? What's the energy for Leos? Ace of Wands with the High Priestess. Y'all got two cards. Actually, okay, Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess. Ace of Wands. So, Leo, your energy is a little, it's, it's a little, it's interesting here. You have the Ace of Wands. There's a new, there's something that you're passionate or you're igniting a flame or you're igniting that divine spark within right now with something new that you're doing. But, but it's like, you got to get everything organized with the Knight of Pentacles. Take your time here and use your intuition. Knight of Pentacles is just like, take your time. Yeah, because there could be toxic people that want to get, I don't know, it's just like time. Knight of Pentacles, you need to go back and do some research or you're looking something up or you're doing some self-search. Yeah, how I know, because I took a card off the top of the deck, which I never do. I let them pop out on their own. But when I took the card out, the Hermit card came out. So you're, you're, you're going within yourself to do some self-searching, some soul-searching. This is what you need to be doing right now. What's going on with the Libra? What's going on with my Libra here? Hey, Libra. What's going on with my Libra? I'm back here, or energies, emotions are trying to come back, but you're, you're still putting it down. You're laying down your burdens here of how people did you wrong in the past because you're choosing to have a victory. You're choosing your reality emotionally. So you're dealing with your emotions. Yeah, it's like you're leaving that shit out in the cold. You're like, look, fuck all that. People may try to come back, but you, you're you letting go of that burden, whoever. People may want to reunite with you and change things and all that. You just won't even do anything that you don't want to do. Like you're just not going to. Eight of Cups reversed with the people want to come back and, and and I mean like they also people are trying to come back to you Libra and put down burdens like oh well no like because when you left you left whatever was bringing you tension you walked away from the tension you released the the burden and now people are trying to come back now they're trying to let go of the burden but really they're trying to just put it back on your scales Libra. So I'm getting like, you're just, you just, you also like letting it flow. Like it's water off my back at this point. It's water off my back. What's going on with Scorpio? Scorpio. I'm getting Scorpio something. What's the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Of what you used to do. Like trying to replant an old seed that never worked out or a seed that was not good because you'll learn your lesson spiritually like planting a seed in infertile soil or trying to plant a seed when it comes to uh like going back to old habits or old ways that are destructive or even just doing things for money as well yeah like trying to get money in a quick easy way or something like that it's like god is watching scorpio so just be aware tap in with yourself on that one what's going on with the sagittarius Sagittarius, you could be sad about something. Okay, Sagittarius, you're sad that you have to like be cold. <laughs> Sagittarius, let me find you a care bear. You're in the five of cups. But but it's because you have to look out for yourself. Queen of Swords with the Five of Swords. You have to cut off, like, you gotta cut off motherfuckers that's trying to like compete with you, like trying to win at all costs. It's like, baby, I'm abundant as fuck. I ain't never had to compete for abundance. I am the abundance. Like, yeah, it's like you're having a victory, though. You're being promoted. But there could be people that are jealous of you or people that are trying to compete with you. Then, get like, they're not wishing you well. Why are you sad? Like, you sad that motherfuckers is, is mad that you're a shining star? Like, why are you sad about that? That's weird. Okay. I mean, do you, Sag? But, yeah, that's what it is right now for what they're saying. Let's see. What's going on with uh, Capricorn, please? What's the energy for Capricorn? Two of Swords reverse. So 
strength card reverse. So like, it's like you made a decision in the past, Capricorn, about not being resilient or not resisting something, and now you feel rested. List or you, you need a breakthrough because you didn't make so like you could have overspent like you should have resisted spending some sort of money but you spent it anyways and now like you're restless because you can't pay it like you got to get it together be getting karma something that you're trying to invest in may not be building because in the past he was on some evil genius shit like he was trying to manipulate or outsmart motherfuckers and now it just came around full circle what's going on with the Aquarius please that's for some of y'all Aquarius you're working working on what you're, you're you're working on okay you're working on you eight of pentacles with the star card you working on you Aquarius so Aquarius you're working on yourself right now that's what I see for you you just trying to you become better dressing over like things that didn't work out or not seeing eye to eye with a soulmate or connections that didn't work out. Aquarius, you're not worried about that. You just worry about you. I fucks with it. What's going on with the Pisces? Pisces, it looks like, what's the three of wands reverse? There could be an unexpected tower moment here. Somebody, either you're rejecting a fire sign or a fire sign is rejecting you. You work that you need to do here, Pisces. It could be in regard to your family. So your focus is shifting, is what I'm getting. An ending of a cycle. You get the truth about it though. So you're not stressing about it. You're coming out of some emotional energy of feeling like something didn't work out or whatever. That's what I'm getting for Pisces. All right, let's just get an overall message before we get out of here. And then I'm I'm done, y'all. I'm done. Right on the hour. Right on the hour. Yeah, y'all. It's it, this was a crazy ass live. What a hell of a live. <laughs> it was motherfuckers just this Venus and Cap is making Mercury retrograde look lame. Yeah, this Venus and Capricorn retrograde is just what's any more messages we have for the chosen ones about what they need to do. Just understand that what you're putting your energy into now is. any means like what you got going on is not temporary it's not temporary what you have going on is long term like a foundation something sturdy something that's a legacy you're building a legacy yeah ten of pentacles with the world card you're building a new cycle a new generation is coming out of your womb or out of your out of your sack you get me some of y'all got the golden, the golden egg or the golden seed in ways you can go about this. But with the seven of cups here and the ten of pentacles, this is why people in your family don't understand what you're doing. But this is why they're also disappointed. Some of them just don't get it. Some of them understand they're disappointed. With. Some, some, some of them are, are trying to cause confusion. Some of them are sad because five of pentacles, you have to take your five of pentacles and put it into the new generation that you're building. You got to take your energy by leaving somebody out in the cold and put it into your new situation. You have to release anything that has been trying to hold you down. You peasants, let go of them. They peasants, and it doesn't matter who it is. When it comes to this conscious ancestry, okay, it could be your own family. It could be your own mother that you consciously are more royal than because of where your specific consciousness it's leave them out in the cold or you have to leave certain people out you have to take your energy back from certain spaces because this is energy they own some peasant energy they out in the cold and you got to put that energy back into working on your own building up your own eight of pentacles the high priestess the, the will of fortune working on whatever you're working on because you know it's going to open up a new cycle with overflow abundance celebration three of cups and that's why motherfuckers is trying to interfere or that's why they're whatever you get me like, you know that you're, yeah, you know that you're going back to swords. Three of Cups with the King of Pentacles. Other motherfuckers could be trying to get in the mix. They could be trying to mix their energy, but justice is going to be called on their ass. Three of Wands. You're waiting for your, your, uh, your harvest to come in. Yeah. 
King of Swords here with the Ten of Cups. It's like you have to protect your happiness or you have to be cold to the outside. Like, you get me? You Not everybody can come up in here because if everybody came up in here trying to grab a cup, I wouldn't have no cups left. Yeah, Eight of Cups. You got to release this sadness and make peace and also make peace with the past here. There could be people spying on you, being messy, going back and forth. But why are they spying on you, though? Let's ask ourselves. Is people spying on you? Why are they doing this? Because you have the cherry with the empress. You have ascended status. You have ascended that status that they, that you get me? The last time they seen you, maybe you wasn't a scarcity mindset. Maybe you was on some poverty mindset. Maybe you was a peasant. But then you evolved. And you became the empress with the chariot. Your healing abilities, you ascended. You became the empress. Now you can heal people at a different level. Now you can uh, uh, manifest abundance at a different level. Now you're the empress with the chariot. Like you coming on your chariot. You get coming in on your chariot here. You coming in with this temperance energy. You got your security guard ready to kick ass for you. You got the, the temperance angel, the Sagittarius possibly, ready to kick and whoop ass for you and protect what you're manifesting because you're doing it for the most high. And that's why you're getting the equal give and receive, six of pentacles. That's why the most high, the most high sees what you're manifesting and is continuing to support your manifestation by providing to it. That's how you know what you're doing is right. That's crazy. The card, her hair is the color I changed my hair for New Year's. Damn. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. For some of you guys, yeah. People want to come back from the past because they see you're manifesting something. And it's like they want in on it. They want in on it. And these are the same people that was talking shit about you when you was juggling shit and coming out of stressful situations. The same motherfuckers talking about you. The same motherfuckers was talking about you. Trying to figure out, like, what's your secret? How you do it? This toxicity you're blocking you're, you're protected from it, is what I'm seeing. So that's the energy I have for y'all. That's what I have for y'all. I, I, I hope that y'all are still with me now. Let me know y'all still with me. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. I almost forgot to do the all signs. I had to go back in there and do that for y'all. But hope you guys enjoyed this reading and this message today. It was very up and down as far as getting here. But we got here and, and we got to who we need to get to. The message is received for those that need to receive it. I, I'm happy about that. I appreciate that y'all watched this live. And it, again, if you want to book with me, the description box, it ain't even in the description box, but I keep saying, it. I'm going to put it in the description box after this video though. So it will be, but right now it's in the live chat. It'll be in the description box below. It's uh, my website, kaylagreens.com. You're very welcome, Aisha. I'm glad that the message was resonating for y'all, that you got what you need, that you uh, have an altar, angelic, like that y'all making y'all coming up with y'all doing what i'm glad that it hit for whoever needs to hit for it that, that means i did what i need to do today and uh i'm satisfied with that i'm satisfied with doing my mission so i appreciate y'all and i will talk to y'all later it's your girl to the kkk love also knows your celestial empress and i'm out y'all peace